Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Houghton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. On this video, we're going to be showing you how to disable the sign-in options in Windows 11 settings. So what this means is pretty much when you go to start and you look for settings, you'll pretty much get to it, or you can also you can just right click and select and get to settings. You're in the same location. Um, you're pretty much going to go to your accounts and underneath your accounts, you're going to see sign-in options. What this pretty much is, is gives you the ability for you to customize and create your passwords for the ability to sign in. So you can set up your facial recognition, your fingerprints, your PIN, your security key passwords, or even your picture for your password. And this pretty much gives you the ability that you can customize this. What we're going to do is pretty much disable this and restrict people to be able to do this. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do is pretty much you can go to start or wherever you honestly just need to search for it. And we're going to go ahead and type in something called reg edit. This is pretty much bringing up something called registry editor. You can probably honestly just type in registry editor and it'll be probably be the same thing. Regardless, you're going to go ahead and click it and you'll probably be prompted for this. For this to work, you pretty much need to have administrative rights for this. If you're restricted, then I'm sorry, you're going to have to find another computer to understand this. Regardless, press yes. And your registry should look something like this. If it somehow looks different, like stuff opened, just close all these things up and this is what you should see. Now from there, what we're going to do is go to a folder called hk underscore local underscore machine. We're just going to go ahead and double click it. And it should look like this. And then from there, we're going to go to software. And then we're going to go to Microsoft. And then we're going to continue scrolling down until you see something called policy manager. And there it is, Policy Manager. We're going to go ahead and expand that. And then from there, we're going to see a folder called um, Default. And then from there, we're going to scroll all the way down and see something called Settings. That should be right here. Where is it at? Settings. We're going to go ahead and expand this. And then from there, we're going to go to Allow Sign-In Options. And then you'll see this list. All you pretty much, once you get to all these locations, that's pretty much where it's showing you the directions for it. We're going to select the value and change this value to a zero. So I'm pretty much going to press OK. So now when I pretty much, I'm just going to minimize this registry editor. I can come back to it in a bit. All we're going to do is go to the same thing by going to start and going to settings. And we get into settings. I'm going to go to accounts and I'm now going to go to sign in options. And here we are and it's pretty much restricted. I can't really do anything underneath here. It tells us that this settings that pretty much some of these settings are managed by your organizations now if you understand how people that knows how to use group policy management and stuff like that then great for you it's pretty much a great field that they use in the it field but for regular personal use that people who don't understand this is what it does for you so pretty much this restricts from people to be able to do this now if you want to just to re-enable this it's pretty simple i'm gonna go ahead and exit out and we'll get to the same location where you're currently at here we're pretty much just follow the same steps. If it is, just go back, but it tells us right here, local machine, software, Microsoft, policy manager, default settings, then allow setting options, then you select the value. And on values, go ahead and click it and change the value of that back to a one and press OK. Pretty much after this, honestly, you can X this out. Also, it is sometimes dumb if you do change these settings, you might need to restart the computer for the come into effect. Um, regardless, I pretty much put it back. And I'm going to go ahead and go to settings again. Now I'm going to go to accounts and now I'm going to go to sign in options. And it seems that we now have access to do this again. And that is pretty much it. And that's pretty much all you need to do to disable or to re enable the sign in options in windows 11 settings. Thanks everyone. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button, get subscribed, comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.